Okay, good evening, welcome to Jesus. Awesome math number 98. Awesome math number 98. So yesterday we started a new chapter in your book. I was actually planning to skip this chapter, but I thought maybe after talking about it yesterday, maybe it will be a fun chapter. So you already know a little bit uh, about how to solve simple linear equations. Yeah. Like 2x plus 3 <laughs> equals 7. What would you do to solve this equation? Well, you can subtract 3 from both sides. So you get 2x plus 4. Okay. Then you can divide everything by 2. Then you get x is 2. x is 2. Okay, very good. And does that make sense? When we plug in x equals 2, do we get 7? We get 4 plus 3 is 7. Alright, good job. Good job. Now we're going to do equations like this, but using modular arithmetic. Hmm. So we're going to solve equations like 3x equals 2 mod 4. Hmm. hmm. How would we solve an equation like this? Well, for mod 4 you only have the numbers 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay. So you can just plug in these numbers. You can multiply these by 3 and see what you get. Alright. Mod 4. 3 times 0, 0, 7, 3, this equals 6, so... Two. So nine goes to one. Okay. So it looks like so X, what is X, equal? X is two. Whoa, that's pretty weird, right? So normally, if I gave you this problem without the mod four part, I just said, hey, find me a number such that when I multiply that number by three, I get two. You have to. What would that number be? It would be. Two thirds. But in mod 4, there's actually a number for it. There's actually, it looks like it's actually an integer. 3x equals 2 mod 4. x equals? x is 2. x is 2. Huh. It's weird. That's <laughs> weird, right? So there's some really interesting things that come up in these linear congruences. Let me show you one other thing, alright? Yep. We'll stay in mod 4, but I'll just flip the numbers around. 2x equals 3 mod 4. Okay, so without the mod 4, what would we have here? x equals? I mean, 3 halves. 3 halves, okay. Alright, let's see what we find mod 4. So we have 0, 3. This would be 0, that doesn't work. Wait, but you're always going to get even numbers if you're multiplying by right? 2. Hmm. But odd, that's an odd number. Well, so, but it's an odd number in mod 4, so yeah. maybe. Well, if you add, in, if you, you can add 4 to this every time, and odd plus an even is an odd. Huh. So there's no solutions for this equation. Aha. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. So some equations don't have solutions. If you find, I think if you find one that doesn't, you can just flip the numbers around. Uh, maybe. I don't know if that always worked. It certainly worked this time around. Okay. I'm not sure if it'll always work. But this is, this is really neat. <coughs> and it will help us solve some interesting equations. Yeah. So I think it'll be fun to talk about it. This is this gets into really like roll up your sleeves, number theory. You can roll up your sleeves. So we gotta we gotta roll up our sleeves and do some number theory in this chapter. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's gonna be fun. Good job. Huh?